Hi, wrestling fans, and welcome to DCW Overdrive TV. Jay Davis with you, and we have a great program in store for you this week. We're going to be seeing the DCW No Limit Championship up for grabs as the relentless Desmond King defends against the Persian Prince of Perfection personified Mr. Zakar Shaw, and he's going to have the Honorable RGP with him in his corner. Also, we're going to be hearing from DCW stars Ethan Essex, the newcomer Malice Maxis, along with Reggie Collins, Alex Devine, and Desmond King, as they all vie for the Rumble for Glory coming up here on DCW Overdrive TV in the next couple weeks. And our feature attraction this week, it's going to be tag team action as Mr. Stairway to Glory, Miles Hawkins, and his tag team partner, Angel, take on the spark. All that and more this week on DCW Overdrive TV. Right now, let's go to the ring. The following contest is for the DCW No Limit Championship! And what a great way to kick off this week's edition of DCW Overdrive TV with none other than the DCW No Limit Championship as we await the challenger, the Persian Prince of Perfection personified, Zarkar Shaw. And he has certainly made an impact in the past weeks and months here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling. And got him to the point where he's earned himself a DCW No Limit Championship match. And look who he has with him. We've seen that union last week here on DCW Overdrive TV. The Honorable RGP aligning himself with the Prince. This is certainly a, not sure, a marriage made in heaven or not. If anybody knows how to bend the rules, break the rules, and own a match, it's none other than the Honorable RGP. And I believe the Prince getting a little worked up here, waiting for the DCW champion. And there he is. Holding that championship up high. And he certainly earned the respect of these fans here. And we're going to see what the champion can do in this one-on-one -on -one contest as he defends the championship. He's pumped. He's ready. And there's the championship. And right now, let's go back to Tara. Zakar Shaw began his attack on Desmond. Big uppercut shot there. In one fall for the DCW World Championship. Drop down over the top round. Zakar Shaw with a big diving elbow. And again, just a reminder, DCW comes back to Felton February 19th for Guts and Glory 19. And we'll see both these men in competition that night. Again, be sure to check out DCWProWrestling.com for more details on that great card coming back to Felton, Delaware. And right now, it's the Car Shaw in control. Big elbow coming in. 
Playing Prince, having his way right now. One of these fans in Felton. Be quiet. Knife edge chop. Oh, I believe that's got Mr. King a little worked up here. Now we're going to have an exchange of knife edge chops here. Now, if I was uh, the prince, I'd be staying right on top of Desmond here. And there he is. Right to the knee. And take Desmond. Now Desmond's able to switch off. Call him to the clothesline. Up against the ropes. Just throws him down. Here comes Desmond. Delivers a big elbow. One, two. Referee Keener with two. Desmond now getting the momentum back on his side. The Prince now to the outside, and there he is. The Ayatollah. We haven't heard the Ayatollah since the days of Classy Freddy Classy. And it's Desmond King now on the attack. Takes the Prince, hoists him up. What's he going to do with him? Oh, he's going to drive him into that corner post there, but Sakar Shaw was able to slip off. And Desmond King ate the, ate the post. Now referee Keener with a count. One. Two. Referee's up to four. Desmond now. Slow to get back up. And there's Ayatollah, RGP on the outside. Desmond was able to get back in. Sakar Shaw, right back on the attack. Gonna pick him up, what's he gonna do with him? Drives him down, big hard slam. Now he's gonna go up. We've seen him do this before, bottom rope. Big splash. Now he's going to go to the middle turnbuckle. One more time. Just drives all his weight down right on the chest cavity of Desmond King. Now the Prince. The first time and the second time work. Now he's going to go for the third time. It's always the charm. Desmond back up. Catches. Oh, big slam off the top rope. Desmond had to get some offense here going. Picks him up. Swings him, him, drives him down. And he just pancakes him down. The ring light is one now. Again. Scoops him up. Sakar Shaw. Out the back door. Picks him up. Tilts a whirl. And just drives him. Now these two jockeying for position. Come on, come on. Desmond trying to turn it into a pin attempt. Trying to make chicken salad there. Both these men. A little winded. Now here he comes. Close line in the corner now, Desmond. Switch. Oh! It was a close show that dropped down. Desmond come charging in. No one was home. And he went face first in that middle turnbuckle. Both men down there. Now, what's going on here? Ayatollah RGP, the outside, he's got something in his hand. It could be a chain. And he seems to, wait a minute. RGP just dropped the chain. That's a car Shaw was reaching for. 
And RTP is walking out on Nicole Shaw. He's taking his gear off. High stomps it. The symbolic road. And in the meantime, Desmond King from behind. Picks up the car shot, pump handles him. Muscles him. Look at the strength. And just drives him down. Into a cover. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. That's it. Desmond King with a successful pad of defense against the Persian Prince of Perfection, who isn't very perfect in this contest. Desmond King, again, overcoming the odds. That's a car show. And uh, the big story here is that the Honorable RGP, which indeed honorableism did not want to interfere in this contest as the car show was reaching out for that chain. Asking for assistance. And it was RGP turning his back on the, on the Prince. Listen to this bad reaction of the relentless Desmond King. Yeah. Big win for him as he has successfully defended the DCW Million Championship. Fans, we've got more great action still to come. We're going to be hearing from the stars of DCW as we enter the Rumble of the World. We'll be right back. I'm Tim, the Mushmaster Spriggs. You can catch me at DCW Mushmaster Spriggs. I think Mustafa Ali is a very wasted talent in WWE. Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. I mean, look at that thing. Dear God, of course you're going to call yourself Bearcat. Either, either quit or get off the pot, as they say. <laughs> well, getting off the pot is quitting. Yes, I know. <laughs> Get some big meat in there. Get some, get some, get some meat slapping together. Just turn, turn the dial this way a little bit. MJF yourself. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> it's nothing personal. It's just business. It's something you hear in this industry a lot. Tonight, what's best business for me is winning the DCW Rumble for Glory. So let it be known to all the other 29 superstars, it's personal. DCW Rumble for Glory. Personally, Rumbles please me. Every man for themselves. No friends. And believe me, I do plan on be the last man standing in that ring by the end of the night. Before that, I want to slowly dismantle every man and woman who enters the Rumble for Glory. True gladiatorial combat for the rest of these. And just like real gladiators, when the lion is let out of his cage, the rest is history. Hey everybody, Richie Collins here, and tonight I make my debut for Dynamite Championship Wrestling right here in Felton, Delaware, and I'll be one of 30 competitors in the Rumble for Glory. And what better way to debut than with the force of the resolution, getting that victory, throwing 29 others over that top rope, and getting the number one title shot. I'll be the number one contender for the DCW Heavyweight Championship at the biggest show of the year, Guts and Glory? Oh, I can't wait. And I know every single member of the Delaware Resolution is really excited. I know I am. And with that, my name is Reggie Collins, and I approve this message with a thumbs up. The last time I was here, I was not the wrestler that I wanted to be. As a matter of fact, I lost. I had some time to think, time to get ready for tonight. DCW Rumble for Glory. Tonight is my night to be the wrestler that I wanted to be, the wrestler that I need to be to win this tournament, win this Rumble, and become the DCW champion at Guts for Glory. 29 other men better watch out and what keep their eyes on the sky because Alex Devine is ready to fly. I am the relentless Desmond King, and 
tonight I just defended the DCW No Limit Championship against Sakar Shaw. And you already know your boy was successful. That's in the past already. A true warrior, a relentless warrior, must think about what's to come next. And what's to come next is the DCW Rumble for Glory, where I'm going to go out there, eliminate 29 other competitors, and then I'm going to go on to challenge for the ECW heavyweight title. And then, that's when they're going to start calling me the relentless double strap Desmond King. I like that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And this is our feature attraction this week on DCW Overdrive TV Tag Team Action. Featuring these two young up and comers. Hawkins and on hell who has a new look this week here on DCW Overdrive TV are going to be joining up for tag team action and uh, Mr. Hawkins still carrying around that stairway to glory briefcase which he definitely earned a few weeks back and let's find out who they're going to be going up against let's go back to Tara for the ring introduction Sparks, Corey Castle, the former DCW No Limit Champion, making his way into the ring. And Mr. Castle asking for the microphone. Let's hear what he has to say. Tonight. 
Well, Adonis Valeria, a little reluctant to join up uh, with Corey Castle. Obviously, DCW management making the decision that Corey can't go alone here. So we have tag team action. There's our bell. Hank Daniels is your referee for this one. It's going to be Adonis Valerio starting out this contest. That's going to be on Hill in there. Collar and elbow tie up. Waist locks him. Onel turns it into a wrist lock. Now onto an arm bar. As we said, Angel sporting a new look this week. Donis Valerio roughing up the Donis. Uh, Angel takes Donis Valerio, drop down. Drop kick by Angel. Great looking maneuver there. Takes it, whips him, flips him in. Up and over. Hard drag takedown. Action fast and furious on hell. Goes right back on. Adonis Valerio now tags me. Miles Hawkins in there. Drop toe hold. Elbow to the back by Miles Hawkins. Mr. Stairway to Glory in there. Picks him up. Snap. Suplex. Hank Daniels with two. I tell you what, Miles Hawkins, you've got to be impressed with this young man. This has certainly come a long, long way here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling. Adonis Florio into the corner. Miles Hawkins feeling good here. Looks up Adonis. What's he going to do with him? As he head lock. Nope, Miles Hawkins. Switch him off. I think a tag was made there. Malfunction at the junction there. Big kick. And on hell turned into a suplex. One, two, he's too, too close to the ropes there. Only got two. Wasn't able to put his full weight on Adonis Valerio. Referee Hank Daniels couldn't really get in there. Really check the shoulders. On hell now. Al misses. As he went for that splash. Miles Hawkins off the corner. And Adonis Valerio was able to capitalize with a big belly to back suplex. Tag made now. Here comes Corey Castle. The former champion. Going to work to work on on hell. And also, a few remarks from Oh, look at that beautiful double underhook suplex by Corey Castle. Wrist lock on. On hell. On hell's trying to work his way out of it. Corey in full control here. Puts the boots to on hell. And pick him back up. Getting working on the arm. A tag made. Ron's move. Back in there with on hell. Now working on the working on the arm. Tag team, these two are really starting to gel here, really impressing me. Great tag team wrestling thus far. One, two. On hell is able to get the shoulder up. Don Slaru again making the tag. Corey Castle back in there. And again, cutting the ring off. Front face lock. Oh, big swing and neck breaker. with only a one count, didn't hit the leg. Looked like he was almost going for a choke there. Now wearing down. On hell, oh look at this, just taunting him, putting the boots to the top of his head. Oh, but on hell, come back. 
with a big open hand chop. And there's a knife edge. Now in the corner. Thought he was going to make a tag. But now he's got Corey. Front face locked him. Trying to wear him down. Corey, the ring partner. Uh oh, dropped him down. It was almost the knee to the face. Oh. Corey, knife edge chop. Corey Castle, who has held almost every championship here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling. Showing us why he is one of the greats. Going up to that middle turn backwards. Looks like he's trying to super flex him. On hell, headbutts him. Where he wasn't able to pull off his move. On hell now, top rope. See more action just like this at DCW Guts and Glory 19, February 19th at the Diamond Exchange in Fountain. And again, on hell, trying to make the tag. He does. Miles Hawkins. Corey makes the tag score. Two fresh men in there. Miles, that's teeing off on the Thomas Fuller. What? Adonis takes a powder. I'm not sure if he tagged Corey as he was leaving the ring. Now Corey's back in there. Look at that. On the shades of the Midnight Express. One, two, three. And that's it. Miles Hawkins. And on hell. Miles Hawkins and on hell pick up the win. seems a little surprised from this outcome. And quite frankly, I can't believe Adonis Valeria just walked out on him. But it's going to be a win for Miles Hawkins and on hell in this tag team match here on DCW Overdrive TV. Things certainly looking up here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling. And there's a nice gesture. John Hell has the briefcase for Miles Hawkins. And wait a minute, Corey Castle has the microphone. Sincerely, Angel, I really hope you're happy with the coattails you decide to ride. You set it up, he knocked him down. Oh, go ahead, hand him his trophy. Hand him his prize. He's one contract away from losing your number. I've seen it a million times. And this is exactly, it's typical. That's my brother. That's my brother. You ain't a team. What you are is you're a shining star, and you're the light that follows it. Oh! Super kick! Super kick by Ian Hill! You feel better now? Is that it? That's all you got? This guy's gonna be credit on you sooner than you can even move it. No, 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 And it looks like Corey Castle has got two on hell in his recruiting efforts as maybe the spark is continuing to grow here in Dynamite Championship Wrestling.
Sean Hill going to the dark side. And joining Corey Castle. A new haircut, a new attitude, and quite possibly a new alliance between Corey Castle and Angel in the DCW. We're going to have to see how the sport continues to grow. Fans, it's been another great week here on DCW Overdrive TV. We thank you so much for being with us. Folks, from our whole crew, this is Jay Davis, and we will see you next week for another edition of DCW Overdrive TV. Be proud. Be proud of yourself. Stepping up. A spark of change happening in your life. This is the beginning. This is the plan I've been talking about this whole time. Let's go. Dynamite Championship Wrestling returns to the Delaware Auto Exchange Saturday, February 19th for the 19th anniversary show Guts and Glory. Tickets, prices, and more information are available at DCWProWrestling.com. Spring is on its way, and if you're looking for the absolute best t-shirt to rock, it's not going to be the rock shirt, it's not going to be your favorite sports jersey, it's going to be the official Zack the Ripper Comics t-shirt. You can find this actual shirt along with a barrage of over 50 plus items at the Zack the Ripper Comics Teespring store. The link is in the description below. If you go on there, if you purchase one of my items, let me know, send me a direct message on any of my social media, and I will feature that in an upcoming video. If you'd like to be in one of my videos, please go purchase one of the shirts, one of the anythings, there's leggings, all kinds of cool stuff on there, and I will put you in a video. One last time, check it out, the official Zack the Ripper Comics t-shirt, nice and bright, cutting its way, ripping its way into your hand.